In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can use the Unity Store to add assets to our project. So one of the first things we're going to do is head to the Unity Store. You can do that by just typing in a browser Unity Store or you can go straight to the URL uh, asset.unity.com. Please make sure that you're logged in. If you're not logged in it won't link this to your project. Also in your project you need to make sure that you're logged into your project. There is a synergy between the Unity Hub, you need to be logged in, your project you need to be logged in, and at the Asset Store you need to be logged in. And that synergy allows you to carry assets from the Unity Store straight into your project. Now some of the things you need to look for is low polygon. So we're going to look for low polygon gems. And what it does is a search and brings up all the suggestions. I would make sure that you click free assets. This way you don't have to pay for them. There are plenty of free assets out there to test. The other thing we're looking for are what are called low polygons. The low polygon will not be rendering heavy on your laptop. So you can see the little animation here, you get these little scripts. And therefore, if they're animated, they're gonna come with the animation script and you need to be careful of those scripts. So let's go add this to my assets. By clicking this, you accept and I agree. Now we can go open in Unity or go to my assets. We want to open it in Unity. When we go back to our project, you see that the package manager is opened. It's now fetching the assets and it's fetching it from my assets. So these are the ones that are mine. They're not in the registry of the program. You can see under here, you've got uh, on the registry of the program in my, currently in my project or built into the system. So these are the ones that I have used and flagged. So I've got simple gem. I need to download this into my project. So I'm going to click download. Okay, now I can import this package into my project. You can see at the moment here is my assets. So I am now going to click import. It's now given me a list of all the different parts of this asset. Please be aware, I would scroll through, and the main thing you're looking for is scripts. The problem about importing scripts is it can, if it's from an older package, could interfere with the current version or the programming structure of your current project. So please be very careful. If you don't need the scripts, uncheck the script. Now in our current scripts, we actually do have an animation script so we won't need this animation script here if you don't want the scene uncheck the scene a scene is like a test area that you can have a look at the prefabs um, so I'll uncheck it so it doesn't import in your project will keep your project to a smaller size you can see we've got prefabs we've got models and we've got materials so these materials will probably join them into our materials so they're all in one place and I'm going to click import once it's imported, you can see Arun and Sky up here. We can go in, this is my gems. You can actually see the models, the materials, and then we've got our prefabs which are already made. So let's head down to our project and I'm just gonna grab a object. So let's get this hexagon and drag it out and put it on the stage. At the moment, I've put the prefab out there. Then I can add a material to it if I like. So now it's yellow. And then when I run, you can see it sitting up there. Now remember when the prefab comes out, it doesn't have a box collider and it doesn't have a rigid body. So if you want to collect the gems, you'll need to put those in the components and that will help you put a scoring system into your project. All right, I hope you found this useful. Give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope this helps you create a really interesting game.